Uh, first off, I was not in the bathroom. If I were in the bathroom, the walls would be this color. But they were not. So, once again, I was not in the bathroom. Hey there, obviously, wow, I need to talk here, not up there, because I can see myself. Hey! Uh, which I, I'm going to show you. Maybe. Are you sure you want to see how do you, do you want to see how I rigged this mess up? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, don't judge. But, uh, yeah. Tripod. Big, sturdy video tripod. Link to my Nikon. And then my LCD. It's doing its job. It's doing its job. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I would show you the lighting, but uh, you guys wouldn't watch me anymore. The few of you that actually watch me. Somebody asked how I got into filmmaking, and that's a very, very, very long story. Start off when I was younger, and uh, my parents had this little camera that was like, it was a little brick thing, and all it did was you pushed a lever over, and that wound it, and then there was a big button that you pushed, and voila. But I used that for a long, long time. I love that little camera, and then one day I think it just quit working. It didn't. Slowly, slowly, I moved into video. Um, my parents got a Super 8 digital, digital video camera. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I'd take the camera and I'd uh, shoot myself playing with. Well, I'd shoot my Lego things I built, and then I'd do things with cats. Yeah. Strange. Eventually, uh, some friends of mine started coming over, and we started making like Civil War reenactments, which were basically the two of us fighting. Um, and then I did some reenactments of stuff. Um, and then it turned into eventually I had this really ugly clown suit, and we would do this. Uh, I think it was uh, something in Mr. Happy, and my friend played a clown. I was always a sock puppet. And we'd just do these little little things that we thought were funny. We thought they were hilarious. And then it kind of died off for a while. Because I think something happened to the camera. Like it quit working. It wouldn't record anymore. But it would play. But it wouldn't record. And then I was like, oh. Wah -wah. From there I went back into photography. And uh, I used my dad's 35mm uh, a lot. Well, not a lot. But I used it a decent amount. Um... And I did that in my photography class I took in high school. I took a lot of photos. A lot of them didn't get printed in high school. A lot of them were bad. Because it was like, I went from, and I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew how to kind of frame and take a snapshot, which was important. Speaking of uh, photography, my current favorite photo that I took recently is this one. This photo is of my girlfriend, Caroline. She started off by just putting the hat on, and uh, then I added the scarf, or we found the scarf. I really wanted her to wear this vest. It's a sweet vest. It really is a sweet vest. A sweet vest I am now wearing. I told you it was sweet. It's so cool and soft. Anyway, um, then, um... Two, two of my friends in high school then were working for the technical advisor, engineer guy, I don't know what his name, what his exact title was, but they were working on setting up a video lab because there was a little extra money this that year, and so we, you know, they were kind of the main people, and I just kind of was like, oh, well, this is fun, I want to do this, I used to do this, this would be fun to do again. We made a, we made a movie called Redshift. Um, by that time, the editing labs had evolved. I have a text. Hey, Caroline, I've gone to hang my Scholars Day poster. I miss you, babe. Bye. By the way, hi, Caroline. Hi. By the way, I'm glad to die again. 
hang on. Well, we made a movie. Uh, it was supposed to be an hour and ten minutes. Uh, it came out over two hours. Yeah. I don't want people to see that. Uh, but last time I tried to watch the DVD, it didn't work. No. Yeah. <laughs> and this is really fun. This is so fun. So fun. You <laughs> try to shoot a short sometime, a short documentary as well as a film short this summer. See what happens there. I had one other question that somebody posted, and that is for me to explain why I'm weird. I am weird because 